Nutrition plays an important role in a child's physical and mental growth as well as his or her future health. But many of today's children live in a fast food society and studies indicate that one of every three preschool children is at risk of becoming obese. So educating young children about the importance of nutrition is crucial in reducing these numbers. Good nutrition is important, especially in children. One, because their bones are still growing. Children go through remar remarkable physical changes of all kinds. Their food intake becomes a critical aspect of this growth and development. Two, nourishing food not only makes a child healthier, it makes him or her emotionally more stable and it improves school performance. And three, encourage your children to eat a variety of foods. Like adults, children need to eat a variety of foods from different food groups to get all the nutrients necessary to grow and develop properly. To grow and develop properly, it takes all of your organ systems working together. So I'd just like to go over some of the organ systems um, and kind of let you know what each one of them does. First, the integumentary um, system provides protection from harmful substances in the environment. The skeletal system provides protection of internal organs and supports the body. The muscular system provides movement and protection. The circulatory system transports nutrients and waste. And the nervous system controls and regulates and communicates. The respiratory system delivers air into the lungs and provides gas exchange. And with the digestive system, it breaks down food and absorbs for growth. The excretory um, eliminates waste and balances the pH in the body. And the endocrine secretes your hormones. And lastly, we have the lymphatic and immune system, which absorbs fats, proteins, and it defends and filters waste. So with each of your organ systems are groups of organs that work together to carry out specific duties in your body. All of your organs are influenced by all of your food and lifestyle choices. Proper nutrition promotes health and development of organ systems. So next, I'd just like to go over healthy eating, five tips to improve nutrition and encourage smart eating habits. Um, the first one is to have regular family meals. They are a comforting ritual for both parents and children. And kids who take part in regular family meals are most li more likely to eat fruits and veggies and less likely to snack on unhealthy foods. Um, secondly, serve a variety of healthy foods and snacks. So five servings a day of fruits and veggies. They provide vitamins to muscles, organs, and also provide vitamins to your body, absorb even more essential nutrients. Secondly, some other good snacks include yogurt, cheese, and milk, which provide vitamin D to your bones so you can absorb vitamin C and have healthy calcium-enriched bones. Thirdly, you'd like to be a role model by eating healthy yourself and demonstrating this to your children. So encourage healthy eating by eating well yourself. Your kids will follow the lead. Essentially, all of the health foods you take in, each organ help each other to build energy and a strong nervous, muscular, respiratory, and circulatory system. Fourth, avoid battles over food with your children. Establish a schedule for snacks and mealtime. Don't bribe or reward your children with food. Fifth, involve your kids in the process of food making. Get your kids involved. Work with them to pick out healthy choices for meals, snacks, and lunches. Some negative things that deteriorate developing organ systems are smoking around your children. This can lower their immunities, causing them to get sick easily, develop asthma, and of course, cause lung issues later in life. Eating an unbalanced and high-fat meals can also contribute to children not growing at the rates causing obesity and heart disease. Whenever one of your organ systems improves or declines in health, the rest of your organ systems follow suit to some degree. The health of each of your organ systems is determined by all of the health of the cells that make up your organs. And all of your cells have the same basic requirements to stay healthy. And now I'm going to turn it over to Stacy. Thank you. 
Next, what we'd like to present to you is a menu for one to six-year-olds. Uh, what I want to start with is uh, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. So we want to start with something like milk, fruit, toast, yogurt, eggs, or cereal. Most cereals are high in fiber and calcium, and then there's a lot of protein in eggs, and then calcium in yogurt, and bread has your wheat content. Milk has about 122 calories in one cup. Fruit has about, uh, it averages from 35 calories in an orange to about 44 calories in an apple. Toast can be anywhere from 40 to 80 calories a slice, and yogurt can be anywhere to 70 to 149 calories per cup based on brand and contents. Eggs are about 13 calories per egg, which makes a very healthy eating. And cereal can be anywhere from 160 calories to a lot higher based on the sugar content. Things you want to avoid at breakfast are pancakes that can run up to 310 calories per, per pancake and 50 calories for syrup. Strawberries are a good alternative to add on top of a pancake if you wanted to do that instead of, strawberry, or instead of syrup for two calories per strawberry. Lunch is important as well. Mac and cheese can be teeter-tottering on healthy to non to not healthy at 320 calories per serving. Veggies run about one calorie per carrot, and then uh, for broccoli or cauliflower, it's about three calories per floret. Soup can run 151 calories for tomato soup, and salads run about 17 calories, but you should be aware of uh, dressings and the calorie content in dressings. McDonald's, uh, a Big Mac at McDonald's is 540 calories and has 29 grams of fat, while a Whopper at Burger King has 770 calories and 48 grams of fat. That's why these arrows are here. These are high in calorie and fat intake, and then everything with the green are lower in calorie and fat intake. Uh, a good alternative if you are going to eat out is Subway. A turkey sub at Subway is 280 calories and has less than six grams of fat. Dinner is important as well. I put a couple of different options here. There's a burrito, which can run 290 calories. Sushi, although is, is higher in calories due to the fish involved, has very low fat. And you should be aware that the sodium content in soy sauce will make the calories increase. Um, as far as beans go, it's a great protein source, uh, and edamame is about 85 calories per serving. Kidney beans are about 210 calories, but have some of the highest protein content. Um, and these are just some of the mature beans, like black beans, lima beans, and lentils. Uh, potatoes have about 57 calories, a very healthy dinner. Um, tofu has 117 calories, which is a great... Um, vegetarian option. Spaghetti has about 182 calories for the pasta without the sauce and then 48 calories with sauce. Uh, chicken can run anywhere from 142 calories for a chicken breast. And then also a kid's meal at uh, McDonald's, a double cheeseburger with small fries and an apple juice can run 620 calories, nearly half of the daily value for a child. Snacking is also important throughout the day, especially for your children. Uh, cheese can run anywhere from 69 calories for a cubic inch, which is very healthy. It provides calcium for healthy bones. Hummus is a good option as well. That runs about 23 calories, and then you can throw in a wheat pita. Um, a granola bar is usually less than about 100 calories and can fill up a child pretty quickly. Uh, the things you want to try and avoid or use in moderation are things like ice cream that are over 200 calories in a half a cup. Cookies can run 55 calories in one chocolate chip cookie. Remember to keep active, to stay healthy, and the right food can provide the energy needed to sustain busy lifestyles like we have with small children. Eating out can be expensive, so make sure you take the time to go online and food find new recipes and get your children involved in the kitchen. Try www.allrecipes.com or the Food Network is always teaching something new. And there's always something interesting for children to watch. CalorieKing.com is where I found most of the information. Um, it's great for finding healthy alternatives to these very high calorie foods. And in moderation, many foods can be consumed in a healthy manner. Now I'll be handing things over to Beth. I'm going to address um, 
the budget portion of eating healthy. Many people think it is harder, more expensive to buy the healthy foods that you need to feed your children correctly. But that's just what many advertisers want us to believe. There are many quick and easy ways to save money on your grocery bill. Well, it may be easier to take your family out to dinner. The money that you spend on that one dinner could probably feed your family for an entire week of dinners. Also, by eating at home, you know that the food that you serve is going to be the best food for your family. Many people believe that eating healthy can cost more, but it's just a myth. The first and easiest tip is to always shop with a grocery list. By using a list, you ensure that you buy what you need and avoid the temptation purchases. The sweets and the chips can really add up on your grocery bill, and they add to your waistline. Make a menu when you're making your list. Make a menu for the week or the month, depending on how often you shop, and stick to that menu. By using the weekly ads, you can help plan your menu out for the week and make your healthy choices for the family. And then you avoid the end of the week uh, decisions of what's for dinner, because you already know. Try the store brands. Now, they may not look the same, but they almost always taste the same. And they cost at least dollars less, which can add hundreds of dollars to your grocery budget at the end of the year, especially cereal. They almost always come from the same plant and are just packaged differently. Stock up when certain items are on sale. By using the weekly ads, you'll know what is going to be on sale when you make your grocery list and menu, and you can ensure that you get the best price on all items. Purchase meat when it's on sale or when you can buy it in bulk. When you get it home, repackage it and repackage it correctly and put it into your freezer and label it. If you do it correctly, it can last a long time. And when you, because you have your menu, you can uh, defrost it when it's time. And I have an example. <laughs> this is an at home um, HandyVac freezer pack. And all you have to do is put the meat inside of here and then hook this up to it right here and it sucks all the air right out of it. This entire purchase was probably $10. You can buy the bags for like $3. And it allows you to freeze all your meat just like they do in the stores and um, have it ready for you when you need it. Um, avoid buying the pre-cut fruits and veggies. Well, it may be more convenient at the time, um, you're going to pay more for that convenience. Purchase the whole fruit or the veggie, cut it yourself, and again, store it correctly. Um, and that would go with like the green bags. This is a green bag which is available. You can put bananas or any kind of fruit or vegetable into it. Put a paper towel in it to um, collect the condensation and it'll keep the vegetables at least a week longer than they would normally be able to stay fresh. Uh, another good way to save money on your grocery bill is to avoid buying bottled water. Um, not only are the bottles um, unsafe for our environment, you're, you're buying water. So you can buy reusable bottles and a water filtration system like a Brita filter. The original price may seem a little expensive, but at the end of the year, you're going to save hundreds of dollars on bottled water. And instead of buying your pre-made frozen dinners, which are easy for those late nights, make a meal at the beginning of the week that can easily be frozen or stored. You can reheat it later for those nights when you just don't feel like cooking. Also make your own snack packs. While it's convenient, again, to buy the pre-packaged and pre-doled out chips and um, crackers, if you buy the regular size box of crackers, you can put it into baggies for when you're on the go. Anything that is going to be pre-made or pre-cut is going to always cost you more. While it's easier, the food isn't always as healthy and you're not quite sure what's in there. With most meals, when you plan correctly, they can be made and prepared in under 30 to 45 minutes. Make your meal planning and cooking a family affair. By including your children in the cooking and cleaning process, you're ensuring that they're going to make healthy choices in their life from now on. Don't go for the easy fix, like grabbing drive through because that's going to teach them that that's the easiest way to cook. Make sure that you involve the entire family in the meal process, and you'll have a happy and healthy child.